our target. We make it? She alive? This does not look good. No in a minute. Jacking into Biomon. Sandra Dorset, NC-570442. Got a winner. Or she will be if we can get her to a hospital. Sheesh. Trauma Team Platinum, too. Platinum? Shit. TT should have swooped in if she sneezed. Something's jamming the Biomon signal. Talk to me, T-Bug. Virus, probably. Locate our neural socket. Should be a shard slotted in. Shit's probably on that. If we clear it, free up the signal, TT could actually drop in. Take her off our hands. Got the shard. Removing it now. Done. I'm ready, Sandra. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is due to arrive at your location in... 180 seconds. Biomon claims trauma will be here in three minutes. Like the fucking cavalry. <laughs> well, let's get her out of here. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rest. <laughs> oh, mierda, she's flatlining! V, you need to know what's going on. Jackie, air hypo! Get China! She's stable. <sighs> Fuera, Haina. Get her outside. Swarm of the sons of bitches. Two vans full just pulled up outside. Fuera, get her out. Terrorists! to control. Patient NC570442 secured. Stimulants being administered. 70 milligrams dopamine. 110 norepinephrine. 800 fiber. Hey, give us a lift out of here. No problem. Cutting connection. T-bug out.
All clear. I got the 80s for new wheels now. I had something real fine, too. How about you, Aina? Probably blowing all on booze in three days. Talking about somebody else, Jack. People are moving a cunt out of combat. Johnny Silverhand, been a year since he went on his last ride. All you gunks sitting in the afterlife nursing that scotch waiting for something better. You know what I mean. Hey, what's up, V? Look, I need to talk to you. That news is as big as my balls. And I got a hot date with my Ripper Doc. Come on, I now make the Doc wait. Pull some pants on your culo and get down here. Subway entrance and bring your iron. A very first stages of food production with great food bioquality that even mother nature can own. Try out our fresh water and let your tongue be amazed. Mmm, yum. Hey, you're all 45. It's ready. Very strong sink. You kidding me? Damn signal gonked out three times. Three times, yo! It's a piece of shit! Now give me back my eddies! Silverhand's debut out, Matt. Now no ever since he has me. Uh, could be some truth to that. Familiar? Somebody wants to talk to you. One of Night City's top fixers, eh? Okay, you see that caddy? Need to walk on over there and get us a job, I know. Fine, I'll meet him. Talk. I'll be in Senior Rippers. Good news. Yo, Miss V. A pleasure. Let's roll. Scanning a serious job just now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scare phone. You interested? Interested, sure. Tell me more. Well, glad to hear. Before we can start in on this, though, I need to be sure. Sure you all right. And the nature of this test. Slot in the show. See, got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang, just doing his thing, jumped a corp convoy, got away with gear. Now I need me that little combat body. They call it the flathead. Of course, I got the Eddies to buy it, but me and the Maelstrom boys ain't the best of friends. No flow to our convo, see? Who's the woman? Corporal agent. She's on the hunt for the dogs who sold the Gangoon's info on the convoy. Got herself a prisoner. Her chief suspect, most likely. Going on 20 hours since the convoy was jumped, and she still don't have no guilty body. Gotta be desperate by now. Be wise to think how you could use that. Got any questions for me? Clear on it all, I think. Time I got to work. Beautiful. Here's hoping my inkling checks out. So, see you at the afterlife soon as the job's done. Do good, and this will be the start of a beautiful friendship based on heaps of eddies. Stout 
here? Hi. Um, heard you were looking for some tech. Let's talk. Hey, everybody shut it! Where is it? Come on, spill! On the horn? No. Uh. Amateur hour. Jesus. First exit off Skyline going towards the NID. Storm Channel under the overpass. Meet you there. See this cam, huh? Yeah, got a real whack tape, change your fucking life. I'm Cynthia. Got some real juicy super tape for you. Yeah. Your heart chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. V! I can release. How to play out with Dex? It's all here. All right. I'll check it out while I wait for you. V? Dr. Vector will see you now. Vicky, as spry as ever, you old ripper. Hernandez hey, passes on the chance, coming That's in with right. a couple of hooks. Gaining the upper hand pretty darn quickly. Need to bump up my specs and get a grip. <laughs> <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit just got real. Hitting the major leagues. Got a job from Dexter Sean. The Dexter Deshaun? Yeah, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later. With interest. You know I will. Last time, I swear. Now sit. That's Karoshi. Best I've got. And should be about right under the circumstances. Now jack in. You peruse and choose while I scan. This is what's going on inside. <sighs> I'm ready. Carve away. Okay, all clean. Now for the fun stuff. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Just like that. Thanks. Now a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Doc. Play by play. Makes you sound like a dentist. They're always going on and on. Don't be me now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Good, so let's test it. I'm linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort. Maybe blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. So, how's it look to you? This is fantastic. Beautiful. Time for the scanner. It might take you a while to adjust, but first time is rarely the charm with anything, really. The scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. Shit, Victor. Not bad. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. Thanks again. You're the best, Vic. Go on, kid. Show him what you can do. And once you hit the big time, 
Don't forget where you came from. Left a few minutes ago. Said he'd wait outside. Well, well. Hiroshi. Mm-hmm. Well, Vig's got a soft spot for you, Heine. Come on. How about you use them fancy-ass optics to scan my new wheels? Sure. But you'll have to let me take it for a spin. Hey, just watch the paint job. Is this pendejo? Hey, carnal! Hey, you got a problem? Something tells me that wasn't no coincidence, huh? Spot to slice and dice, not gunning after us. But who knows? Real messed up pendejo scars. Saw it yourself. Remember the corpo off Dex's shard? Ranger, she's in the area, and we're gonna meet. Let me guess. She's in hot corpo water, desperate. Then you think you can use that? See if I can, yeah. There. Let's take a closer look. Composite armor. Car's a fucking tank. Shit. Yeah, Militech. No doubt about it. You sure you still want to meet him? Yeah. Gotta do this. But don't you move a damn muscle. Not unless I start, that is. Stout. Take it you were the one to call? Yep. We wanted to... Think you're smart? What you could blackmail me, bitch? Set conditions? Calm the hell down! What is I've this? I've got you now, asshole! You're insane! Who the fuck is this? I'll know in two seconds, Flat. That fucking thing ready? All set. Are you here alone? Yep. Just little old me. She's lying. Search the area. Now listen, boys. We don't need to be here all day. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist, did he or another asshole at Militech leak info to you or anyone else about a convoy? Take me home! Now! All right. I have no idea who you're working for or what you even want, but you better give me something solid or I will end you. I've got an offer. Oh, you are stretching. This better be fucking good. Gang goons who ripped you off? I know where to find them. They got a bot I want. Give me the funds to buy that bot. You can do what you want with the gang. I don't give a shit about the thieves. I want my mold. Credship, 50k. Just enough to buy you your bot. Thing is, Chip's gotta make it into the thieves' terminal. That's all I need. Think you can do that? Then we got a deal. Fine. I'm in. Try to fuck me in any way, and I'll be seeing you real soon. 
You're making a mistake! This cunt's good as dead! We looked a little fishy, you know? A little tense. No signal, so I stayed put. Good thing, too. Went down about like I expected. Made a deal, and we're good to meet with Maelstrom now. Mm-hmm. Be there soon. What do you expect? Corpse don't forgive or forget. Even these Borg fucks sense that. Feel the pressure. That's why they're holed up in this shithole, praying to the almighty Trip Six. Gotta move the tech, but they can't. Cause your new best friend from the tripped out, tanked out SUV is just begging them to try. Hmm. Tough shit. All we need's for them to buy it. I want to talk to Royce. Main room. I'm waiting. They look damn well prepared. All strapped with military gear. Psycho Borg scrummed out with military grade hardware worth millions. Looking to buy a bot. Model MTOD-12. Looks like a spider. Couch. Planted. Yo, Kerr. Peek around the corner, see if we got anything like that. Well, shit. Sit down. I'll stand. Can't move on your culo. Makes you an easy target. Sit down. That really necessary, hombre? I ain't your hombre. Sit. Sit your ass down before I plant a bullet in your skull. Jack, sit down. This ain't gonna end well, but... Shit. Well, all right, fucking bravo. Come on, lighten up. Have a whiff. Better. Now we can talk. The bot. Need to see it. Suit yourself. Fucking tricked out, state of the art this thing. Don't even got no standard port. Bells and whistles, though. Dynamic camo armor and motor impulses rival in that of the human nervous system. Its actuators are actually pimped with titanium fiber, and it can go anywhere. Literally. Watch this. Fully integrated link, too. So when the spider starts crawling up walls, dangling from ceilings, you could lose your lunch. So, what you think? Hey, up and let's get the fuck out of here. The buck. I'll take it. Two questions. What the fuck's going on? And who the fuck is this? Got 50 large on this crutchet. And you positively reek of Militech. Dexter Deshaun sent me. Dexter Deshaun, dreads, gold plate, fat old fuck, that him? <laughs> we'll pay for the bot and be on our way. How much you say you had? 50k? Creds on this. Move it. Not the smoothest of deals, but it worked out in the end, right? Flathead's good gear. It'll do the trick. Whatever that trick is. Shit. Shit, shit, shit! Probably 
Damn time. Let's get out of here. You know, we really ought to work together more often. Your chip had the clap. That's not discreet. You set me up. I fucked you over, you fucked the gang over. Somewhere at the start of the story, somebody fucked the corp. See how this works now? Only the corp gets what it wants. Remember that. Learn it. Years down the line, you'll be standing where I am, watching somebody else doing- Yep, being a raging bitch to whoever's doing my dirty work for me. It's time we were on our way, I know. Okay. Let's call Dax and tell him how things went down. My girl the shit eating suits. Mamanos. Hey, Mr. Dax. Get us that table at the afterlife? Hmm, matter of fact, I did. Just in my gut and all, you know. Well, you were right to. <laughs> well done, Mr. B. Well done. Shit, I can't believe it, Ina. Major Leagues. We're in. <laughs> I mean, we fucking pried the door open. But the only thing I want to pry open right now is a bottle of scotch. Oh, no. Not another three-nighter. Por favor. Need to get to know this city, Jack. Not just gun in hand. I want a crusade. Amen, Ina. You all right? <sighs> Let's do this. <laughs> you won't give out what this is. Okay. What now? Barry. Johnny. You barry? On a flushed. BBS, that a fortress. Bridge to the deep net. Beyond, there are no borders. Beyond the black wall. Welcome to the Cyberpunk 2077 2019 Deep Dive video. In last year's gameplay reveal, we showed you our vision for the world of Cyberpunk 2077, its quests, and visual design. 
This year, we'd like to give you a peek at some of the play styles you'll be able to adopt as your character progresses through the story. Here goes nothing. You're about to see sequences embodying two distinct approaches to playing Cyberpunk. We'll show you a strong solo build, that is, a character who focuses on employing blunt force and taking instant action, and a Netrunner build, a playstyle taking frequent advantage of stealth tactics, hacking, and battlefield control achieved using malicious software. Additionally, you'll learn more about Pacifica, one of the game's districts. Two gangs, the Animals and the Voodoo Boys. And you'll see glimpses of Johnny Silverhand, the digital construct who haunts our main character, V. A word of caution. Given that the video covers a section of the game deep into the main storyline, we have edited the footage to contain as few spoilers as possible. Be aware that the gameplay as presented does reveal characters and locations you'll see while playing the game's main story arc. So watch at your own discretion. Where are we headed? As Corrales' campaign promised, quote, This way. In this video, you'll experience a segment of a quest from the middle of the game. We're currently in Pacifica, one of Night City's six unique districts. No Pacifica, well. Nah. You guys aren't exactly great at rolling out the welcome mat for outsiders. It was designed to be a tourist hotspot within the city. As you can see, this didn't pan out. When uncertainty struck the global economy, investors pulled their funding, leaving most establishments unfinished. It's one of those places where expectations and reality collided, resulting in a heap of disappointment. Ongoing gang wars plague this part of the city. Outsiders don't come here if they don't have to. Even by Night City standards, it's dangerous to those unfamiliar with it. Taking a casual stroll here would not be a good idea. A fast motorbike or armor-plated car would be the safer option. But places like this have their advantages. If you're in need of rare goods or illegal cyberware, Pacifica's bustling local markets are a good place to start your search. The Grand Imperial Mall is a whole other story. It was one of the last developments in Pacifica to lose its funding. Until recently it stood vacant, but now a gang called the Animals has moved in for reasons unknown. Something's not going right for the big guy up top. And that's what we need to learn in order to earn the trust of the Voodoo Boys, the Animals' rivals. What the hell? You could fucking tell me what you plan to do first. You take job. You do what I say. So you chuck in, now. Of the many gangs in Cyberpunk 2077, the Voodoo Boys are the most skilled at using the net. Why? What for? You are my vessel now. I see what you see, hear what you hear. This mysterious gang of highly skilled netrunners has close ties to the local Haitian community. You are V? We have been waiting. Haitians settled in Pacifica in the 2060s after natural disasters struck their island and forced them to emigrate en masse. The Voodoo Boys gang formed around this same time, though at a smaller scale. Now the gang effectively rules Pacifica. The Voodoo Boys don't usually work with outsiders. Lucky for us, it seems they're prepared to make an exception this time. Mr. Han sent me. He said you got murk work needs doing. Still, to earn their trust, we need to prove our worth. Placide, one of the Voodoo Boys' higher-ups, has offered us a mission. We need to infiltrate the Grand Imperial Mall, currently occupied by the Voodoo Boys' deadly enemy, a gang called the Animals. 20, 35, 07. Three seconds before, poof, the camionette. We try to learn where the camionette come from. The Animals are not your normal gang. Their presence in Pacifica is suspicious. They value might above all else and wear melee combat implants to raise their prowess in combat. Their beverage of choice is juice, a potent strength and speed enhancing concoction. As sought after bouncers, they're usually dispersed throughout town. As skilled street level business types, they've cornered the market in illegal substances and underground live or die prize fights. When they converge in one spot, it's for something big. It's then they appoint the fastest and strongest among them as their ad hoc leader. 
In this case, it's a woman named Sasquatch. You said you wanted my bed. It's insane. No. As far as I remember, you said no bone brain buffaloes on steroids. I'm afraid that's the cost of doing biz. This is the tech Placide was talking about. It seems non-standard for the animals. And this is where we come in. Getting to the van won't be easy, but we're more than qualified for the job, which we can complete in one of many ways. The character creation in Cyberpunk 2077 is the kind you'd expect from a full-fledged RPG. You start by choosing your past, important because this unlocks special options at important story junctures. You also fully customize your character using a deep customization system that spans not only your look and style, but also your abilities. Cyberpunk 2077 does not feature fixed classes. Instead, it has a fluid class system that allows players to mix and match a wide range of abilities to suit their play styles. You can create a strong solo character, a skilled netrunner, or any other hybrid class you can imagine. Let's see how a solo play style in Cyberpunk 2077 might work. Solos prefer a direct approach. They use guns and might to get things done. So let's wreak some havoc. With our enhanced strength, we can strip this turret of its weapon to give the animals a taste of their own medicine. This is how a player investing in solo abilities might live out their Terminator power fantasy. Enhanced strength lets us force open doors or grab enemies to use as human shields. We also gain access to powerful melee combat cyberware. So even someone as fast and strong as Sasquatch, the leader of this group of animals, is not impossible to beat for a solo. But Sasquatch has a different game plan. She's out to jack in and hack us. Let's see how this plays out. Ready for some fun? Oh, Proceed. What's going on? It's our choice if we want to finish her off or spare her. You're cyberpunk. Your rules. If you'd rather sneak around, hide, and strike from the shadows, no problem. Just develop your net running skills to get around obstacles or hack into enemy tech to have it do the dirty work for you. Net running abilities mean hacking skills that let us use our cyber deck to breach access points. For this, we fill the buffer of our cyber deck with a string of instructions represented by these letters and numbers. Matching the instructions for basic access grants us control of devices connected to this network. The more instructions we match, the more control we gain over elements in the network. We can hack our way through in numerous ways. A quick hack may grant us control of the security camera. Another one should let us tweak the difficulty of the training bot to create a distraction. With our nano wire, we can even hack this guy's implants from a distance. In this world, almost everything is connected to a local network. And that means it can be hacked. Ours is a wolf. Which brings us back to cyberspace. You don't get to do anything in the net unnoticed. There's always someone watching. It could be Corpos, or even worse, it could be Netwatch. And that is exactly the case here. Who is they? Netwatch. They always have to fuck us. Netwatch and the Voodoo Boys are like fire and ice. 
The first of these wants to maintain the old order and protect people from AI anarchy originating from beyond the black wall. The Voodoo Boys want to establish contact with the free AIs. They believe this will enable their boundless expansion on the net and grant them the upper hand over Netwatch. Netwatch sees this as the end of the world. Both are right. Whoa, hey. How you deal with the Netwatch agent is entirely up to you. Do we side with the gang? Choosing to be on Netwatch's bad side is never wise. But can we really trust the Voodoo Boys? You set me up! As you can see, we have many possible options. But in each case, we take a risk. I think I'll just stick to my plan. In the world of cyberpunk, few things go as planned. And that was just a glimpse of how complex the branching storyline in Cyberpunk 2077 can get. Every decision you make will have consequences. Your choices will shape how the world reacts to you and affect your relationships with those around you. One of those relationships is special. Ever heard of Johnny Silverhand? A rebel rocker boy who will be your companion throughout your adventure in Night City? Come on, really think they give a rat's dick how you look? Like everyone in Cyberpunk 2077, he has his own agenda. You'll decide if he'll be your ally or your enemy. And that chip in your head, the one thanks to which Johnny lives inside your mind. Well, that's a story for another time.